Hello and Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Today, we will present about resources allocation. My name is Nur Akilah Nazla Witi Azran and I will proceed to the introduction. Resources in construction indicate three main categories, which is labor, usually in salary or hourly. Second is equipment. The equipment that been used for the construction process but not permanently installed in the project. And lastly is material. The material stays permanently in the project after the completion. Okay, we proceed to resources allocation. Assigning the required resource to its activity in amount and timing. And resources leveling. Basically, minimizing the variation resources used during the project and it's necessary to improve the efficiency and minimize the cost of the project. Okay, now we proceed to project network diagram. In order to construct the project network diagram, we must state all the terms for a activity. First of all, it is ES is earlier start. ID is for activity ID, EF earliest finish, SL is for slack, ES is for resource, LS is for letter start, DUR for duration, and lastly is LF is for letters finish. Okay, now we will construct the project network diagram. First of all, based on the table in the right side, we can get all the information about the project inside the table and we need to construct the project network diagram based on these terms. First of all, we can start the activity with activity A because activity A at the table as you can see does not have any of predecessors. So uh, the earliest start of activity A is zero, the duration of the activity is two and the earliest uh, finish of the activity A we can get from the submission of early start and the duration. So the earliest finish is day 2. Okay, as you can see at the table, activity B, C and D is come from the activity A. So that means we need to complete the activity A first and then we can proceed to the activity B, C and D. Okay, for the earliest start of this activity is at day 2. And the duration of activity B is uh, 4. So 2 plus 4 is 6, the early finish of activity B. 2 plus 6 is 8 for early finish of activity C. And 2 plus 9 is 11, the early finish of activity D. If we want to proceed to activity E, we need to complete the activity B first. So, we need to complete B first and then we can proceed to activity E. So, the earliest start of activity E is 6 and the earlier finish of activity is 11. Submission of 6 and 5 become 11. From the table, the immediate predecessors of activity F is B and C. So, we need to complete the B and C first so that we can proceed to activity F. As you can see, the earlier start of activity F is around day 8. Even though that the earlier finish of activity B is around day 6. It is because the F can be proceed if the C activity does not complete yet. So, uh, if the B and C activity been complete, we can proceed to activity F. Lastly, for the activity G, the immediate predecessor of activity G is D, E, and F. So we need to complete all of this activity first so that we can uh, proceed with activity G. For the last, fin last finish and last start, we can get from the due date. So basically, the earlier finish and last finish is the due date of this project. Last Start, we can get from the last finish minus by the duration of activity needed and then we get the 15. So the last finish of activity E, activity F 
and D is at the 15. So the 15 minus by 5, so the last start of activity E is 10, last start of activity F is 8, and last start of activity is 6. So from this, uh, you can see that the last finish of activity B is 8 and last finish of activity C also 8. Uh, we can get the select time by minus the fifth, uh, the last finish with the earliest finish. So if you can see uh, A, C, F and G does not have, does not have any select time. So this is the critical path of this project. So that's all from me. Now I pass to Naile Akila. Thank you. Hello and Assalamualaikum. My name is Naile Akila binti Muhammad Azam. And I'm going to continue on today's presentation. So after we construct the project network diagram, we will construct a table that consists of the activities, the resources. Um, for this project, it is the number of labor and the duration, early start, late finish, and also the slack. So from the table, we can construct the resource allocation table. So I'm going to explain uh, activity by activity. So for activity A, as you can see, we have the resource of three for duration of two days. So for two days, um, activity A, they made three labors, and they have no slack. So for activity B, the resources is 2 for the duration of 4 days and they have a slack of 2. So for 4 days, they need 2 workers and they have a slack time of 2 days. So for activity C, they, have the resource, they need resources of 4 labors for the duration of six days with no slack time. And for activity D, they need the resources of three labors for the duration of nine days with a total of four slack days. And for activity E, they need uh, resources of four labors for five days and also a slack time for four days. And for activity F, they need a resources of two labors for duration of seven days with zero slack. And lastly, for activity G, they need a resources of four labors for a duration of three days and with zero slack time. Then we need to calculate the total resources per day. So for day one, it is three labors per day. Day two, also three, and so on until day 18. But for day seven and eight, we have a total resources of 11, which is exceed our resource constraint of nine labors per day. So what should we do to decrease the 11 labors for day 7 and 8 for to less than 9 labors a day. So in order to decrease the number of labor for day 7 and 8, we need to do resource leveling. So we need, we need to choose the activity from day 7 and 8 on which one we want to reallocate. But remember, we cannot reallocate activity that is on the critical path, which is activity A, C, F, and G. So we decided to reallocate activity E, where we will push backward the activity for two days. So instead of starting the activities at, on day 7, we will start the activity on day 9. This is possible because activity E have a four days of slack. And as you can see, the total number of resources is decreased from 11 to 7. And it follows the resource constraint of nine labors per day. Okay, so from the table of ID5, which is activity E, 
the early start will be changed from day 6 to day 8. To day eight. And the late finish is still the same, which is day 15. But the slack time has been cut from day 4 to day 2 because the activity E has been pushed backward for 2 days. And that is all from me. Thank you for listening.